Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Store. My name's Ammo. On the bench today, guys, we've got our Armour Mojave V2. Guys, this thing is one of my favourite trucks out there. It is a trophy truck. Um, you've probably seen some videos on this. Uh, if you haven't, I'll drop a video or a few videos at the end. There'll be a link. Be sure to check them out, guys. You can also scroll through the channel. Um, there's loads of content on this car on our channel, especially going head to head with the Typhon TLR. Um, so much fun when them two cars are out together. Guys, you must have recently seen this car do a high speed run on tarmac. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put that as a link just up here in the corner. Be sure to check that out. It was the first time I've done a speed run with this car on tarmac and we set a benchmark to see how fast it actually goes. And that was on the low speed pinion gear. And I thought to myself, I love the car the way it is. I don't want to change it. I think it's set up perfectly. However, I was a bit intrigued. This car comes with a high speed pinion gear. Now I thought to myself, do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? Shall I put it on, shall I not? Shall I put it on, shall I not? And I thought, you know, I don't know what it's gonna handle like. It, after doing the Creighton 8S BLX, the green one, that thing still wheelied, that thing went bonkers with a 23 tooth pinion gear. So I thought to myself, let me see what happens. It, What's worse that can happen, right? We can always change it back. So I put the high speed pinion gear on this now, guys. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to go for a bit of a bash, see how it handles on grass, see how it performs. Um, might even take it around a track and then go onto some tarmac and try and do a high speed run. Let's see the speed difference in comparison to the low speed pinion gear and the high speed pinion gear. Let's see what the difference actually is. Uh, Guys, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get into this. Guys, we're here on location with our famous Mojave 6S. We have switched this up a bit. We put the high speed pinion gear on. I believe it's uh, 20 tooth. Kyle's holding the camera. Kyle, is it a 20 tooth pinion? 21, was 21 it? tooth, sorry. 21 tooth pinion on it. The original, I believe was 17? 16. 16. 16. Guys, 16 tooth pinions come off. 21 tooth's gone on. We're gonna do a GPS speed run on grass. We're gonna see what it achieves. And then we're gonna have a bit of action on a gravel course around here. And then we'll do a road speed run and see what we can actually get and beat our personal best with this car. Let's get into this. All right, we're gonna start up and we're ready to go. Right, GPS is set up. Let's go, Kyle. Let's see what she can get. Flat out, whoa, lifting. And she went over. And she's back. Right, full throttle again. And she's lifting, guys. I'm struggling to hold her down. Um, <laughs> what did she pull on that, Kyle? What do you think? I reckon about 50 mile an hour. About 50? Yeah, it wasn't full whack. I'm gonna go for about 40, 45. 47. 47. <laughs> Guys, not bad. She was lifting. I'm going to try a different, different route. I'm going to try and go to the length of the field instead. Um, it seems to be a bit more uh, smoother. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Right, so we found a, a bit of a flatter line to run it. Guys, we're going to run it to the length of this field. Before we were running this way, now we're going to run that way. Kyle, set the GPS up. And let's um, see what we can get. Track. I think we've already beat our personal best. Yep, by two mile an hour. But let's see if we can get it to that 50 mile an hour on grass. And it just... all the way down. <laughs> She's so hard to keep down. Let's go back. on its back wheels all the way guys I mean that's an impressive wheelie if anything <laughs> oh man we're gonna go again just keeping it pinned casual <laughs> it's wheeling all the way down guys that's that is how stable these cars actually are 
They're just guys, ridiculous. <laughs> guys, that's just wheeling the length of that field with his one hand on the trigger. <laughs> what a blast. <laughs> and bus. <laughs> 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 and that's what the bottom of the Mojave looks like. Yeah. <laughs> and we will stop and we will read. Oh no. Don't tell me I got less. 42. No way. 42. Right, so the first run we got was a lot quicker. It must be the fact that it's wheeling all the way down. It's gotta be. Um, right, it'll have to be a tarmac run. So guys, I decided to let Kyle have a go and let's see what he can pull. What do you reckon, Kyle? You reckon you can do it? Well, I could give it a blast. <laughs> guys, yes, it did hit 42 on that run. Um, however, it wheelied all the way there and all the way back. It's keeping the traction down and keeping the front wheels down. But we're going to give it a blast. We start the GPS there, which is started. Off you go, Kyle. Look at her go, guys. It's got a bit of lift still. Trying to hold it. Gonna try a different way. Full pelt. Amazing. Whoa. All right, let's see what she pulled. What do you reckon, Kyle? I, think, I don't think I've beat you. I think I'm around 45. You know what? Your predictions are pretty good. 46. 46, yeah. No, yeah. bad, eh? No, not bad at all, but I think if I can get a run from the darker trees there, yeah, like this way, I think I can probably pinch another mile an hour or two, but I don't know. I might take, take a whack up there and then send it back down this way. Right, guys, let's set up the GPS again. Well, there you go, started. Off you go, Kyle. Right, he's running towards the top of the field. Let's see if we can break this. Um, not in the car, as in terms of speed. All right, uh, here she comes, guys. It's just keeping that front end down. Whoa, flipped it. Did I jinx it by saying the word break? Oh, no, she's back up. Bit of reverse edge. Nice! That was smooth. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she pulled. What do you reckon? I don't think I got it. 47. 47? No. 42 again. 42 again. Yeah, it's going to have to be a road run. Yep. Guys, I think we should have a blast on the gravel like I said earlier. And then we will get into some road action. Up on the gravel, guys. <laughs> Look at her go. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Whoa. Amazing, guys. Whoa, sent it. GPS is gone. And we're back. Amazing. Whoa. Whoa. This is gonna get expensive. Carl's ready to buy me a new shell. <laughs> right guys, we're up on an industrial estate. We're gonna do a speed run with the high speed pinning gear down this road to see what we get. We got Kyle looking nervous. He's gonna be controlling the car. <laughs> GPS is here. We're going to set this up, it's on start, and we're going to see what we can pull. Right guys, here we go. Oh, it's crazy, whoa! Up on two wheels. Absolutely amazing. He's going to run it back up. Whoa! 
listen to the echo of that. Oh man, that's crazy. Is he going again? One last time. Whoa! 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 Let's see what she pulled. Absolutely epic. Oh no, he's gone back. Oh, guys. It's hard to hold that front end down on this. All right, Kyle's bringing her back. Oh, full speed. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Right, let's see what she pulled, guys. What a weapon the Mojave is. Right. I'll stop that there. Let's read. Close. Close. So that's probably the fastest we've got out of this. Kyle doesn't quite know what we've achieved. I know this has got more in it. However, it's keeping that front end down. He just wants to lift. Um, but yeah, I think I'm happy with that speed at the minute, guys. Let's see what Kyle thinks. What do you reckon, Kyle? About fifty. We were close. We were close. Can't, no, no way. Fifty-seven. That shocked me. That was chattering, mate. That was going some. But when it was uh, so, when I brought it back up there and got it full chatter to go by me up there. Yeah. I noticed that when that front lifted, it weren't just the front that lifted. The whole car was off the floor. This is it. That thing's just an animal, isn't it? Yeah. There's, uh, Holding that front end down. It's as soon as you get to three quarters throttle and it just, it's like, nope. <laughs> Does it remind you of something? Yeah. You know what? I'm happy with that result. Are you going to try one more? Should or is that enough? Yeah, we go, we'll go another one. We'll see what we can do. Right. I'm, I'm going to get a bit more of a wind up. Yeah. See, see if I can get it. Okay. Right, I'll reset the GPS. Guys, we're going to give it one more attempt and see if we can get any faster. We're all ready to go. Let's go. Kyle's winding her up there. Whoa. He's flipped in the middle of the road and it's upside down. All right, she's all good. He's coming down, full chat. insane i think when it hits that speed guys it just lifts um this is the issue we've had with the creating success and bearing in mind i've not messed around with this suspension this is set up as it should be in terms of what it's supposed to be used for so it is set up as a trophy truck so i've not messed around with that and i don't think i'm going to because this ain't my speed run car but it's just nice to see what you can do. So let's stop that there. When it works. Oh no, guys. We've lost the GPS. We've lost the GPS. So Carl's recovered the GPS. It was at the top there. It was further than the car. <laughs> Let's stop it there. Let's see what it read on the way up. Yeah, 51 mile an hour. 51. That was on the way up. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. Not on this road anyway. And I need, we need to amend the uh, suspension. Suspension. Well, we pull, I don't know it's a 60 mile an hour car there. Yeah. I think 57 proves enough, guys. What a car. Guys, this thing is a machine. Absolutely love it. Yes. We didn't achieve the fastest that we could pull. Still a very impressive figure for something that's an RTR out of the box. However, what we noticed was as soon as you start pulling that trigger, anything past three quarters of the way, this thing lifts. As soon as it lifts, it either flips or it's hard to get the front end down. Um, and that was on tarmac. So we struggled to nail it and get the full top speed. That's an issue we've always had with our Creighton. Uh, 6S EXP, if you remember, anything after half throttle, that thing just backflips. <laughs> it doesn't matter how fast you're going. 
But guys, absolutely amazing and happy with this. This car is set up so well and it's so well balanced. Did you see it on that field? This thing wheeled across one side to the other of that field, wheeling non-stop. I had one finger on the trigger. I weren't even looking at the car, I weren't paying no attention. And this thing is up on its back wheels like so, cutting across. That's how well balanced this car is. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I love this car. I've loved it from the first day I ever ran it. If you guys out there watching this video haven't got a Mojave and you want to get another car, guys, get this on your list. Yes, it's old. However, it's fantastic and it's hard for something to come and beat the characteristics of this particular car. Absolutely love it. Guys, if you love that content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.